So the main reason that we want to practice on the back of our stick um, is to create soft hands. So we don't always want to attack the ball when we catch it. We want nice soft hands when we're giving. Um, and by practicing on the back of our stick, which doesn't have a huge pocket, we're forced to focus on that giving motion. So especially for our younger kids who are learning how to catch and throw, um, this is going to be a really, really important skill for them to learn. It's a little bit um, easier if you have mesh in your pocket, but for all of our girls like me who like the leather stringing as well, you can do it on your leather strings as well or your plastic strings or the mesh. It's a great way for you guys to get your soft hands, work on that giving, that soft touch to be able to catch and throw anything you want. Um, it's something that you can incorporate into stick work, something you can incorporate into shooting. Um, you can add weighted balls. There's different ways you can incorporate it. I typically just have my kids at during lessons when we're out here, um, practicing giving, throwing, maybe doing some faking as well um, to kind of work in that progression. So uh, let's try it. Boop. to really incorporate it. Uh, the way I start, especially with the first time I do with any of my girls, is I just go simple, catching back of the stick, throwing back of the stick, catch and throw, same hand. Then you can start to incorporate switches, which will keep, have you keep the stick tighter. And then if you wanna give, catch on the back of your stick, give, pop it up, catch normal, throw normal, that's a more advanced progression. So you can start simple, get more advanced. You could then start to do it kind of everything back of the stick, but those are three easy ways to incorporate it at the beginning. Try it out, let me know how it goes. Happy laxing, bye.